right guys so um we're gonna be doing some halloween makeup um i took a nap it is now 4 19 um but i still want to do this so i was looking at some inspo and I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to do that would be quick. So, but I kept looking at this one. So I think we're gonna do that one. And I don't know her name, but I used to watch her like a long time ago. Um, yeah, I don't remember her name. But yeah, so inspired by her and this girl too, because she also did the look. So we're going to go off of that and see what we get. So I'm just going to like wipe off my um, little dots and the shimmer that I have right here. Okay. I kind of want to put my contacts in too to make the look like pop even more. Okay, I got that off. Now we're gonna like re put some concealer. Well, first let's put our contacts in. So let me go do that real quick. Okay, we have the contacts in, and these contacts are from Evos. Evos. I have the box, or no, I threw away the box. I want to say it's Ivo's. I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen so then you guys can check it out because they have like colored contacts and um, they have some deals and stuff. They have cool contacts. And so far these have been pretty good. They're like, haven't been getting giving me any problems or anything. Um, but you want to you want to always be careful with contacts you don't want to wear them too long um kind of just for looks like really just for looks like if you're gonna wear them like all day you know maybe like take them out eventually clean them a bit so they're like refreshed and then put them back in like i don't know because they do tend to and this is just color contacts in general they tend to um dry your eyes out a bit so yeah because i i have to eventually take them out because i'm like like blink a lot you know okay so I think I'm going to actually do just the fair porcelain color on my lid um, just to get it like, I'm going to do just the lid for now and wait to do my under eye because we're going to be using a lot of um, eyeshadows. If you haven't seen my old um, video that I posted for my um, OB appointment, just check up for me and baby. Go check that out. Okay, okay. And then I'm just gonna go in with some, with some powder. 
So I'm gonna go in with like a, this one. I used to do, maybe I'll insert some like pictures that I did um, back in like 2019. I used to like always do ugly makeup and um, I'd be coming up with like, well not coming up, but I would like do really cool stuff because I'm, um, uh, I would go, oh, you know, inspo, but like do it myself. So I'm trying to like get back into that, but I, I need latex and I need like a jug of uh, fake blood because I, I use those together, you know, most of the time. So again, we're doing this look and it's called um, the bad liner. So that's what we'll be achieving. So it looks like she has like a really dark orange and I have this one, which is gonna be perfect. This one, same. So we're gonna go in with that. And I'm gonna use this one. This one has color on it, but I'm gonna just like clean it off a bit. I need to clean these like really bad. I just don't, I haven't been, I mean, here lately I've been doing my makeup, but, you know, usually I haven't been, so they've just been kind of still had makeup on them, so they're t it's time for another clean, because I did wash, or no, I washed my beauty blenders, so I need to do my brushes. Okay, so that's good. So we're gonna we're gonna go in with that flame, flame color. It looks like a red, but it's an orange. It's just really dark orange. I love this one because I'll use it for red. Okay, I need a, I need my mirror. Okay. So we're gonna put that in the crease. And it kinda goes out too, so you wanna get that, you know, going. So it's easier. So now we're gonna go in with a lighter orange because we're kind of doing like an ombre. So I think I'll go in with this little brush. It has some yellow, but that's perfectly fine. And we're just gonna go in with this next orange that I have for. 
we're gonna go with that orange. We're gonna go into the James Charles palette. And I mentioned this in my first video, but I didn't like, I just sped through it. Um, I don't know what the drama is about James Charles and because I don't really watch him so I, you know this is just a palette to me so don't you know comfort me saying like oh because I have no idea what's going on with him like I don't know what was going on then I know it's not really going on anymore but I don't really watch him but and this was a gift so because I did want this song. Um, because I like the colors, but. So we're going to add a bit more. Because that's not dark enough. Now that I have the mirror close to me. into just now I just went into um what is this called rusted it's kind of the same color on my other palette um try to show you guys I'm gonna kind of go over it to see if that helps to make it like more darker Nice. I like that. Got some looking. So yeah, I'll be going on a trip um, to where my mom is in San Antonio, Texas. Me and Ira, um, we're gonna go and spend you know the month with her because she did come when Ira was born, and then we also had met up. Um, a little before that for a few days with my other family in Florida um, but I just kind of wanted to you know spend some time with her and spend a little bit more time with her and you know spend the holidays with her and so also she can see um, you know Ira before she's too big because she's seen her when she was a newborn so I just wanted to give her also some time you know with her so yeah and it's gonna be Ira's first time on a plane so I'm kind of I want to go you know early which I found a flight that is early but it's on the 5th because I was gonna go on the 1st of November but and I, I just went in with um five eighteen. It's like an orange, very bright orange. And um, so yeah, I I'm wanting to go on the first, so I'm there for the whole month, you know. Um, but I found a cheaper flight on the 5th and there's there's two flights um, one which is the same as the first but it's two something 200 and something and it's at like 2 p.m. and see I don't want to kind of go during that I want to go early so we're just getting there quicker so the next flight that I saw it's at so there's that one and then the next one is at 5.48 a.m. which I'm kind of looking at more so we might end up just leaving on the 5th if that stays because I kind of like because we're going to buy the ticket this next paycheck like for sure so if it is still that, that'll be perfect because it won't be um, too much. And I'm doing like a one-way so that it's cheaper. 
and then we'll just buy the ticket um, like maybe the week before um, the 1st of December and then I'll be back. So I'll be, I'll be um, recording down there too because I'm going to bring this phone and um, I'll get some footage of San Antonio. That's where I grew up. And yeah, that'll be fun. I think it'll be like a fun video, you know? I'm trying to stay positive about it. I'm a little, I'm trying not to really think because I feel sad that I'm taking Ira away from her dad and then I'm leaving from him also. So it's just like, uh, we haven't been away that long, like apart that long. But I know it's like, you, you have to sometimes, you know, sometimes do what you gotta do. And I did invite him with me, but he doesn't, he, ha he has work too, so now he really can't really, you know, we would have had to just go for Thanksgiving, but that defeats the point of what I was trying to do. So, yeah. I'm gonna record the whole light and everything I'll probably just vlog that whole day because we're it's gonna be five hours so and then we have a delay if we take that 5 a.m. one we'll have a delay in Denver for almost an hour which is fine because then we can get something to eat and I can let Ira Maybe we'll walk around a bit or something so she can move her legs. I'm trying to make it as easy as for me and for her since I'm pregnant and so I'm gonna I'm thinking about taking her her little stroller that we have, you know the little ones, the little little ones that you just like take to like the mall or so. I'm gonna take that with me. Okay, real quick guys, back to the makeup. So now we did the orange, I'm liking the way it looks. Now we're gonna go in with that yellow on the top and blend it all out. So, now we're gonna, or I might work that orange a bit more and then we'll add yellow. Cause it kinda goes up a bit so then you can like see the transition. So, let's do that a bit more. Um, so like I said, I'm trying to, you know, make it easy for both of us. Because, for one, bringing a baby with you on the plane is always like, everyone's like, oh my god, she brought her baby. Which I'm not really worried about that, you know, with her crying and stuff because she's really good i'm just worried that she might like i don't know like just well maybe i am a little worried that she's gonna like fuss but she's a good baby i'm just worried that because since we're gonna have to like sit there for I don't know how long that first flight is gonna be. Probably, cause, okay, so it's five hours. So maybe two hours, it'll be the first flight and then we'll be in Denver for an hour and then two hours for to, to get there. So it'll probably be two hours. So I'm hoping if we do take that one, she'll kind of be asleep. I know she'll probably wake up going through the whole process, the whole process, which that'll be okay. Just so she knows what the hell is going on, so she doesn't wake up and she's like, "Where, where are we?" You know. And and I'm gonna need her to bye to everyone, you know, because we are gonna be gone for a month. See, I'm trying not to think about it because it makes me sad. 
Like it's good and bad. <laughs> it's good because we're gonna spend time with my mom and her husband, my stepdad, but and my sister. My sister also is gonna be there because she lives in Houston, Austin, Austin. I always get them confused. Houston or Austin. But she lives over there, so she's gonna come also to see me. She's gonna be there for like a week, which will be really fun. Now we're gonna, I did grab this one, but I want that same little brush and just wipe off that excess and then go in, I'm going in with this. B. This yellow, bright yellow. And again, this is just a palette to me. And it's own oh, it's the only um name brand palette that I have. So we're gonna add a bit of that yellow. I do want to get like better palettes and stuff like the palettes that I already have like this one works awesome I don't have any problem oh I lied I have a uh, um, princess and the frog uh, eyeshadow palette I got that from Target I've only used it once when me and my boyfriend had our hand of our two year anniversary this past April. That's when I used it. Okay. And I'm gonna take it out because I like that look. It's cute. And I'm thinking to put my wig on to just kind of give the look some more spice. So yeah. Um, so back to what I was saying about the trip. So I'm bringing her a little stroller. And then I'm planning to bring this like backpack um baby bag and it has like multiple like um compartments so i was thinking that would be good to hold her diapers her wipes um maybe like a change of clothes i am gonna have the clothes like on the plane because that's gonna be the one that i put on top and then I might call to confirm because I'm a little worried that they're gonna be like, oh, you can't bring that stroller and then make me throw it away or something or like put it under the plane because that's not why I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it so then I can like transport her without having to like, you know, carry her or anything like that. Because like I said, I'm pregnant and I can't be carrying I can't be carrying her, her, the backpack, and the duffel bag. Like, I can't be carrying all of that, you know? So, I'm just trying to figure it out. So, I'll probably give them a call, honestly, just to make sure I can bring that. Because I don't want to bring it and they piss me off. Because they will. So, I'm going to go back in with that. Um... 580, 518, or no, the, the rusted color, that like orange red looking color, and I'm just gonna make it darker because it's kind of fading. That's what I don't like about color, like eyeshadows that I have. Some of them are very like, they just not pigmented enough, you know, and I, it bothers me. So it like has to look all light. What do you guys think? Look at 
looking pretty good. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty decent. And it's gonna be cleaned up, so don't worry about this part. So. And now we're gonna go back in with that um, fair porcelain. And we're about to cut this crease. So, this, this is the tricky part because for one, I haven't did this in a while and this is always hard. So I'm just going to put a little right here. Okay, so see, it kind of is doing it a little. That's where you want to do it. Don't mind my face. Concentrating. And also trick, do not look up when you're doing this part because it's gonna just mess up everything. So just keep looking like this, you know? Let it dry. Okay, see, I'm already messing up. That's okay, because we can go back and fix that and just blend it out a bit. So let me look at this picture and see how she has it cut. So it's kind of just flowing through. We're gonna kind of give mine the way my eye is, because hers are a little smaller than mine. beauty blender and just kind of pat that down carefully Allah. 
Okay, now we're gonna um, set this with the um, same color as that color that I have going on. If I can find a brush. Um, we're just gonna use that brush. And I'm gonna go in with this one and just pat that in. shaped liner you know what I mean so kind of like doing that liner only not the not those parts yet just do the liner and then and then like kind of do that part after okay let's see if we can do this So I'm going to use the elf because this is my handy dandy liner. I love this liner. I'm stressing too because the brush on it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a little push this way. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, like, but yeah. So I'm stressed, but we can do this. So first, let's do that liner. So it's gonna be probably like super thin, and then we'll add the details. So it's kind of it's kind of going out all the way to the line. And it's kind of doing like a dip. Okay. And I'm probably gonna speed this up so I can really concentrate. So, bear with me.
it. <laughs> and I am proud of myself. That came out really cool. I love that. I love that. That looks so cool. Yes. Now the other eye. I hate this sometimes. I hate this sometimes. This is what I hate about makeup. You gotta do everything you can do to the side of the other freaking eye. So same technique. You saw what I just did. So that we're gonna just do the same thing to the other side. And I might make my eyebrows darker at the end because I well actually, well yeah, because I um, I my wig does have things, but um, those are going to be out of my face, I think. We'll see. Let's finish first.
it again. <laughs> this one is a little like off, but maybe I need to fix the like outer. Make it longer. Cause it's looking like a little shorter than the other side. it up. And we're gonna use these lashes because these are like my favorite right now because they're so like because usually i wouldn't wear dramatic lashes but i've gotten into it and it's very i got these so i don't have the box but i got these from a beauty supply store here um, but they're very like wispy. Love it. So let's put those on. Drying. We're gonna do um, a little under eye, just a little bit of under eye makeup, just to kind of give it a. Using, um, this is like a Milani eye topper, but I use it as you know highlight because it is so like. Can you see that? You can definitely see it on my nose. My boyfriend's mom put me on, and I love it. I need to use that more. I always forget about it. Definitely um, don't put a lot because <laughs> this is very like... There we go. Okay, 
I'm kind of thinking like a red lip, but I don't know if that'll take from the eyes. We'll see. Let's put the lashes on. glue in your eye when you have contacts and you go blind literally like it like literally blind you okay i am loving this this looks so cute and then i'm gonna add my little freckle thingies So should I do a red lip? I'm trying to think. Because I have that really bright light. Or should I do this one? Yep, let's do them. So difficult when you got contacts in and you got the flash on and everything. It's a little difficult. It dries your eyes out. Okay. I think we're done. You like this? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Alright, let's put them way on to finish the look. So let me grab that. And I want to say I got this, I got this wig on Epsi? No. Did I? I'm not, this is also, I'm going to have to look for the email and um, put that on the screen too, if I can even find it. But it is human hair. It, I need to wash it, so don't come for me. It needs to be washed. But I 
every time I like put it in here, it comes out looking like this. So, ow. Don't come from my hair either. Let's brush this into a ponytail so I can put this wig cap on. I'm trying not to be like all over the place with the videos because I was watching like advice about starting a YouTube video and they, they mentioned like not to be over the place but it just, it's hard because I'm the kind of person that like wants to do all kinds of things not just one thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea because I'm going to do hair videos I'm going to do I really like to do the vlogs. I want to do makeup, honestly. I, I crochet, I want to do crocheting. like I don't take care of it but I do it's just when I put it in because I like I wrap it in the hair net just so it's like together instead of because I don't have any like wig heads to like put it on and I, I used to have one and I don't really like doing that and then on top of that we don't got no damn space so just what works for me slow-mo because I can do that in the editing so I think I'm gonna do some snow-mo If you like the video um, make sure you like comment and subscribe